Who all have the gift of the Spirit start praying in the Spirit of God. Ra 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 malba kolba se karmi mal pokori ampe ra ra re re alba kora she re alba kolba kaba re kari alba re 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 malba ori alba kota ma ke re alba baba me ra malba malba ke ra ra baba she kari akoto o ma ra ba ka te kalma baba o sha ma kota mi mal me kalu ko me alba re 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 re
tonight we declare it. We declare it as the church of the living God standing united. Lord. In Jesus' name, Lord. Tonight, let the lives be transformed. Let there be true repentance yes, Lord, in the heart. In Jesus' name. Because my Bible declares the goodness of the God which leads to repentance. And tonight, we promise you whatever you have done and you're going to do in this place, we promise you to give you all the glory and all the praise and all the honor. If you believe that Jesus Christ is present in this place, if you believe that he's going to do something marvelous, I'll turn your hands and give glory, give glory, give glory. He deserves our glory. Nobody else, no man shall be glorified. In all God and in the presence of God and only Jesus. Jesus alone be lifted up in the church of the living God. Oh my God, I I believe this day is very good day. This day is a marvelous day. This day is a glorious day. I declare it by faith in Jesus' name, Lord. Lord, yes, Lord, we don't want to go forward without you, Lord. 
Yes, Lord, we invite your holy presence into this place, God. We magnify you in, in this place, God. Hallelujah. Would you just give thanks to God? Would you just welcome the Holy Spirit into our midst? Amen. Amen. We don't want to go forward without Him being here. Amen. Without Him guiding us. Amen. Because we want to hear Him speak to us. Amen. Amen. Yes. Once again, let's just sing that. Lord, we do not seek your hands. God, we've come to seek your face, God. We only seek your face. We want to know you. We want to see you. Really. Your glory in this place. We do not seek. We do not seek your hands. But we only see your face, Jesus. We want to know you. We want to see you. Really. You're going in this way. Let the weight of your glory cover us. Let the life of your will flow. Let the truth of your The weight of your glory. We worship you, God. Let the weight of your glory fall. Would you just lift your praise to God? We worship you, God. We bless your name, God. We love you, Jesus. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We come to do that alone, oh God. To seek your face, oh Lord, in this place, Lord. To reveal your face to us, God. Of your glory, let the weight of your glory fall. Let the weight of your glory, let the weight of your glory. Hallelujah, amen. Welcome to church, amen. God to us says, Let everything that has breath, let, let them praise the Lord, amen. amen. Would you just go, go around and just check if those guys, your neighbors have breath in their nose, nostrils? Amen. Would you just go around, say hi to them in that process? Amen. Go around. Amen. While you're doing that, would you like to come forward a bit? Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to re rejoice in God's presence. Hallelujah. Amen. I will rejoice. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, for I've made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice, I will rejoice, I will rejoice, for I've made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice, I will rejoice. I will rejoice for 
sing that amen that you're gonna you've decided to rejoice in the lord amen i will rejoice look at each other i will rejoice yes and i will rejoice for i made my choice to rejoice in the lord i will rejoice yes lord i will rejoice I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. We sing, I will, I will rejoice, yes. I will rejoice, I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. It doesn't depend, it doesn't depend on my circumstances, the strength of my arm or my voice. It doesn't depend on the way I feel. I've made up my mind. I'm gonna. It doesn't depend. Hallelujah, that's true. It doesn't depend on my circumstances, the strength of my arm or my voice. It doesn't depend on the way I feel. I made up my mind, and I'm gonna rejoice. Would you rejoice? And I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice. I will rejoice. I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Just say, I will rejoice. Just voices. I will rejoice, amen. And I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. And I will rejoice. And I will rejoice. And I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice. Once again, we will rejoice. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. For I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. We will rejoice. For I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. I will rejoice, God, we choose to rejoice, Lord, in you, O oh God. And I will rejoice, for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. God to it says in Ezekiel 46, verses 9, I believe. Amen. It says that when the people come to worship the Lord, if they enter through the north gate, they shall leave out through the south gate. Amen. And if they enter through the south gate, they should leave out through the north gate. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Even as we come into God's presence, amen, know that. Amen. He's going to do an amazing thing in your life right now. Amen. Would you believe that? Amen. That amen. you're going to go out changed. That's amen. Right. Amen. Would you be submissive to what God is going to do in this place? Amen. Would you prepare your heart? Amen. What he's going to speak to you today? Amen. Amen. We could be like arrogant and be like, nah, I'm going to go just the way I came in. 
amen things have not been working out for me i'm just going to go out the way i came let's not have that mindset amen even as we come into god's presence let's be like god do what you do best in my life oh god what you intended to do this day hallelujah Amen. Yes, God. We just surrender, Lord, before your presence, oh God. And we just pray, oh God, that, that you do, Lord. You, would, you, you, would you come down, Lord, and do what, what you want to do in our lives, oh God. Holy Spirit, we welcome you once again to this place. Oh. Would you sing once again? And I will rejoice. And I will rejoice. Yes, I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. And I will rejoice. Yes, Jesus. I will rejoice. Yes, I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord. Amen. I will rejoice. I will rejoice and I will rejoice for I made my choice to rejoice in the Lord hallelujah would you lift your praise to God hallelujah we worship you Jesus oh, thank you, Lord. we exalt you Lord oh, we oh yes Lord you this morning, guys let, let that come out of your mouth let oh, the praises of God you. come out of your mouth we, you want, we worship you Jesus we bless your name God you almighty God Almighty God, oh, we exalt you, we lift you high in this place. For you are enthroned and I praise you, O Lord. Blessed be your holy name. For you alone are worthy, Lord. You alone are worthy, Lord. You are my redeemer, my hiding place, my safe refuge. No other name like Jesus. No power can stand against you. My feet are planted on this rock, and I will not be shaken. My hope it comes from you alone, my Lord and my salvation. Almighty God, my Redeemer, my hiding place, my safe refuge. No other name like Jesus, no power can stand against you. My feet are planted on this rock, and I will not be shaken. My hope it comes from you alone, my Lord and my salvation. When I am weak, you make me strong. When I am poor, I know I'm rich, for in the power of your name, sing. All things are possible. Oh, 
impossible hallelujah amen brother can you can you throw luke 8 verse 40 on on the screen please luke 8 verse 40 amen hallelujah amen god's word says when jesus returned the crowd welcomed him for they were all excited expecting him amen it's that was a situation like right now we are in amen who are i excited to be in god's presence expecting jesus to come amen three people come on guys you can do better than that hallelujah. amen hallelujah amen all of all of them were expecting jesus to come amen but can you go to luke 8 was 43 please yep and the word of god says that a woman suffering for, with bleeding for 12 having a flow of blood blood for 12 years she came to jesus amen amen you know the story amen amen she was suffering for so long and then through the crowd she she somehow got through and touched jesus' robe you know that story right amen i mean there were so many people expecting him excited about him being in the pre- in, in that same room with them but that this one woman amen she reached out and touched touched his hem the hem of his garment amen amen right now we might be all excited about jesus being here amen but then god told us that in the book of hebrews chapter 11 verse 6 that without faith it is impossible to please god amen i mean sometimes you would think uh, god would look down upon your situation and feel bad and then he heal you or set you free amen but then what moves the heart of god is faith amen we might feel like let's be sorry for ourselves god might have some compassion and touch us but then that's not how god works apparently you need to reach out to him by faith amen so like let's not be that one that that many in the crowd but then let let's like let's be like that woman who reached out and touches the hem of his garments amen right. let's come like that into god's presence right. amen saying that god yes lord we draw near to you lord believing that you are lord and you're you're the one who you reward those who diligently seek you god as your word says in hebrew so god yes god we just reach out and touch you lord when as we worship you oh god we got to believe lord you got to do the things in our lives lord that we need oh god but we got to focus upon you jesus we got to focus upon exalting your name oh god we got to leave our needs behind oh god we got to keep worshiping you worshiping you hallelujah we bless your name lord Thank you. 
darkness fear Show your mighty hand Heal our streets and land Set your church on fire With this nation that Change the atmosphere Build your kingdom here We pray Unleash your kingdom's power Reach in the near and far No force of hell can stop Your beauty changing hearts You made it so much more than this Awake the kingdom seed in us Fill us with the strength and love of Christ Cause we are your church Everyone go! And we pray we rise have to kneel before men and if you shout in the house of God you don't have to shout in the house I believe some of you got it what I'm trying to say hallelujah you try and decide I shall not do this I shall not do that I don't need to do this but right when you get into the situation you end up doing exactly what you thought you would not do but if you are a worshipper God will change yours and my life. You know, I always like my sister. She loves to come to this church because she says, I love the worship in this place. And here we are. There are people coming from other cities to enjoy worship to this place. And here we are. We need to be pumped up every Sunday to worship God. How many of you know worshiping the Lord is a honor, it's a privilege? It is not something somebody needs to push you to worship God. It should be something that comes from our heart as a sign of thanksgiving to the Lord for all that He has done, all that He has not allowed to happen in our lives. This morning, we just need a heart of thanksgiving. I love the Spirit of God to take over my brother, my sister. I know most of you are held up by your needs and I didn't want to share this but I strongly feel to talk about this most of us in this place give a careful attention are worried about one thing or maybe the biggest need of our lives and feel sorry about those things and say Lord when are you going to do this for me I'm not going to take examples you know what is your need in your life And when we look at others, somebody going through a similar situation or somebody has a lack or a delay in their lives, we always look at that problem and say, Lord, please bless them with that, whatever they are waiting for. But know this, that God 
looks at the bigger picture. I want you to turn your Bible to the book of Deuteronomy. If you have a Bible. If you don't have, I would encourage you to bring it next week when you come to the house of God. The book of Deuteronomy. chapter 5 chapter 6 anyways I'm not getting the scripture the Bible says the Lord allowed you to hunger allowed you to thirst in the wilderness to show you what was there in your heart. As you're standing in this place, don't think that the Lord does not know what you're going through. Don't think that the Lord does not understand that there is a need. As a matter of fact, the Lord in His infinite wisdom allowed it in yours and my life to show us what was in our heart. So this morning, I would just encourage you to take your eyes off your need knowing that the Lord already knows that there is a need and as a matter of fact he allowed it in yours and my life that you and I will still be found in the house of God every Sunday every Friday and we will be faithful to him only God knows where we would be if we had that need met by now so this morning instead of worrying about what you don't have I would encourage you to tell the Lord Lord in the midst of all these things I want to put my eyes back on you, Lord. I want to fix my eyes on you, Lord. Lord, your word says the children of Israel did not enter because of unbelief, because of grumbling and murmuring, Lord. But I don't want to be one of them, Lord, this morning. I want to be a person with an excellent spirit, Lord, like Caleb and Joshua, Lord. I want to enter the promised land for the good land that you kept for me, Lord. Would you, would you bring your thoughts together? Would you direct your thoughts once again to the heart of worship? Would you fix your eyes back on Jesus? Ask the Holy Spirit of God to help you to worship Him. Holy Spirit of God, You are the one who brought us here, Lord. And You are the one who desires that we change in Your presence to be more and more like Jesus speak to us prepare our hearts I lay it down I lay it down I would encourage you to open your mouth and lift up Jesus with this song and bless his heart in this place. Would this heart prevail from the depths on the heights I'll bring a sacrifice. If you have the breath of the Lord moving inside would of you, this heart would you honor it with this song? I just sing this song unto heaven. Song with your hands lifted up. Oh, with your whole body making his praise. Giving him the glory to the day. Oh, praise him now, praise him now. I will praise the Bring the sacrifice with your soul.
is true. There's no life apart from you. Lay me down, lay me down. As we continue to worship Jesus in this place. I lay me down, I'm not my own. I belong to you. I believe the Lord wants to specifically talk to families. Even as we're going to partake of the bread and the wine this day. The Bible says Jesus loved the church. So much so that he gave up all his rights. He let go of his identity as a son of God. As a creator. He became sin that you and I can become the righteousness of God. The families where there are tensions, there are arguments, there are fights, misunderstandings, just because you thought that you deserved something. The Bible says Jesus humbled himself down even to the point of death on the cross. And that's why God exalted him. Gave him the name above every other name. My brother and my sister, let go of what you think that you deserve. Maybe that respect or that care or that love. Humble yourself down the mighty hand of God and let God exalt you. Even as Jesus loved the church without conditions, even as Jesus gave, you decide to give yourself first into the hands of God, then for your family, for the work of God and let God exalt you. Even if it's hurting, even if it's painful, the Bible says, humble yourself before the mighty hand of God and He will lift you up. As we continue to worship the Lord with this song, I would encourage you to let go. Let go into the hands of God and let God take over. Letting go of my pride, giving up. Worship Him with this song. Let the Lord change our hearts. Let Him help us this morning. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take this life and let it shine. Oh, take our hearts, take our thoughts, our voices, Lord. Let go of oh, my pride, giving up of oh, my rights.
this match is true. Oh, yes, Lord. There's no light apart from well, you. For you lay once again, Lord. down, lay me down. It's really my joy to see your will. Once again, it's your way. It's really my joy to Jesus. see your will. Your way, it will be my joy. That's right. Let it be a joy. Your will, your way, away. It will be my joy. Say from your heart. Your will, your way, it will be my joy. It is my joy, Lord. To do your will. Your will, your way, it will be my joy. Your will, your will, oh way. It will be my joy to say. You're telling me now. Your way, 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 you're telling me now.
everywhere, lift your hands and run with them with your mouth. Oh, yes, faith. Amen. If you listen to the word in prayer, hallelujah, the Lord will send a refreshing upon your life. Amen. He will refresh your heart. He will refresh your mind. He will refresh your prayer life. Amen. There shall be a refreshing coming upon. Amen. A refreshing. Hallelujah. How many of you want it from the presence of the Lord? Amen. The word says there are times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. All of us agree together. Amen. You know, when the disciples gathered, they agreed together in one accord and the Holy Spirit came upon them. Amen. We believe with one voice, we agree together with one voice. Amen. Amen. The Lord shall bring times of refreshing upon our lives. Hallelujah. Amen. How many of you want the refreshing? Hallelujah. Amen. The Lord will do it for you. Amen. Let your eyes be on the Lord. Hallelujah. Not on man. Amen. You know, today the word is from, you know, we are going to celebrate the table of the Lord. Amen. The table of the Lord. So, you know, 
No, I just want to take, the Lord just want to take us through seven reasons to keep the Lord stable. Seven reasons to keep the Lord stable. Amen. The first reason is 1 Corinthians 11.24. Thank you, Jesus. Can somebody read it for me? 1 Corinthians 11.24. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. The first thing is, the Lord is telling, you know, this is my body broken. You know, take, eat, this is my body which is broken for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Amen. The first reason to come to the Lord's table is, you know, it's an expression of obedience. Amen. Jesus told, do this in remembrance of me. Amen. Nothing else. The Lord has told, you know, we are just obeying the Lord. Amen. We, in obedience, it's an expression of obedience. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. The first reason is it's an expression of obedience. The Lord Jesus told, do this. Amen. When you gather together, when you come together. You know, if you go, if you, if you read along the word in the scriptures, if you turn to Isaiah chapter 53 and uh, no, 52, you know, it, is, it is called the gospel of the Old Testament. You know, everything about Jesus is revealed in that. Amen. The, 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 the cross, the work of the cross, everything is revealed in that. Amen. And you know, at least four times, in those chapters, Jesus is, you know, spoken by the Father as the righteous servant. I mean, at least four times. I mean, the, the greatest quality of a servant is obedience. Hallelujah. How many of you know that Jesus was obedient to the point of death? Amen. Philippians 2 says, Jesus was obedient to the point of death. You know, though he was in the form of God, he humbled himself. I know he did not consider the quality with God. He humbled himself and he became obedient to the point of death. Amen. So when we come to before the Lord's table, the first reason is obedience. Amen. You know, if Jesus is obeyed and if we are called to be the disciples of the Lord who should follow him, amen, we are called for obedience. Amen. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Hallelujah. Amen. Jesus is calling us into obedience. Hallelujah. Why do you come before the Lord's table to obey Jesus? Amen. To obey Jesus. How many of you know when, you know, in the garden of Gethsemane, before, you know, the crucifixion of the Lord, you know, the Lord uh, asked the Father, Lord, if possible, Father, if possible, remove this cup away from me. Amen. You know, there are many explanations for that. You know, Jesus, because of the suffering he has to go, go through, he asked the Father. You know, thinking of the nail-pierced hands, he asked the Father. Amen. Thinking of the ridicule, mocking, everything that he has to go through, he asked the Father to remove this cup of wrath. Cup away from me. Hallelujah. You know, how many of you know that at least 30 million people has been, you know, martyred for the name of Jesus? You know, in these 2,000 years. Amen. You know, it is not because, you know, of the death that he has to undergo that the Lord told the Father, asked the Father to remove this cup away from me. Amen. It is because, you know, how many of you know that God's wrath, you know, has been poured out on the Lord? You know, the word says, the wages of sin is death. And God hates sin. Amen. God hates sin. And the wages of sin is death. So the wrath of sin of the mankind was pour, going to be poured out on Jesus. Amen. You know, God is, hates sin. I mean, it's like a dam, you know, ready to burst open the wrath of God. Amen. Just imagine you are just standing in front of that. Amen. You're standing in the front of that, just ready to burst open. But somebody came in between. There was a gap. And when it was about to come upon you, you know, it just, you know, it just detoured and flowed into the gap. Amen. That not even a drop falls on you. Amen. Not even a, a drop falls on you. Amen. The wrath of God, the punishment of God, the judgment of God for my and your sin. Amen. Every mess that we have into every failure, everything that we have failed to keep, hallelujah, the wrath of God was poured on Jesus. Amen. He took the wrath of God for us. Amen. He took the wrath. That's why Jesus said, the Father, if possible, remove this cup away from me. Amen. He was obedient to the point of death. Amen. He took our punishment. He took our judgment. He took our wrath. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So that we should be ready. If the Lord obeyed for us, Amen. We should be ready to obey the Lord. Amen. All of you are sleeping, say hallelujah. Huh? How many of you are sleeping? All are sleeping. Huh? All are sleeping here. Hallelujah. Jesus is being preached here. And I believe the very presence of Jesus is here. When you sit before the God's word, you know, 
Sit with eagerness that you will not miss out on the Lord. I mean, the Lord is compassionate. I mean, the Lord is faithful. The Lord is here to touch you. You know, you should not look to a reino who is here. I mean, if you look to me, you will miss out on the Lord. Amen. We are gathering. It's a Sunday. No, the Lord is about to do something. Every time we gather together, the Lord does something in our lives. And if you want to receive something from the Lord, you better be attentive. Amen. It's God's word. It's not the word of man. Amen. It's God's word. Amen. Jesus, every wrath was poured out on him. You know, he took every judgment of us. I mean, not even a drop. Hallelujah. You have to go through it. Amen. Hallelujah. So what? Then we should be ready to obey the Lord. Then why should we come? Why are we coming to the, before the table of the Lord? Amen. Hallelujah. It's obedience. Amen. It's obedience. The God, the Lord who loved us. Amen. The Lord who shed his blood for us. Amen. You know, one of the obedience is that if you believe, you should be baptized. If you believe and get baptized, you will be saved. I mean, it's obedience unto the Lord. It's one of the commandments of the Lord. Hallelujah. If you believe and baptize, you will be saved. Amen. Hallelujah. You know, there was a king in the Old Testament. All of us know. Amen. Naaman. Amen. He was, you uh, know, the commander of the army. And he was leprous inside. Hallelujah. And he came before the prophets of God. And because of the armor that he was, had put on, the coats that he had put on, nobody could see what is inside. Amen. Nobody could see. Only God could see. Amen. There was, you know, wound inside. Amen. There was something decaying inside, but only God could see. Amen. I don't know how many of you come before the presence of the Lord. You might be having a worship. You might be having lifted hands. But I don't know how many of you inside are wounded. How many of you inside are decaying. Amen. But God sees your heart. Amen. He is in the right in the midst of us. Amen. To heal us, to touch us, to set us free. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. And you know, prophet said to uh, Naaman, you go dip yourself seven times in Jordan. Amen. Amen. He didn't think anything. He just obeyed. He took the word. He went and dipped. Amen. First time, second time, third time, fourth time, fifth time, sixth time, seventh time, he came out clean. Amen. He obeyed and it followed with healing and blessing upon his life. Amen. Why, why are we celebrating the table of the Lord? It's for obedience. Every time you obey the word of the Lord, every time, whether it be the Lord's table, whether it be anything, when you obey the Lord, there is a blessing and there is a healing revealed behind it. Amen. There is a blessing and there is a healing revealed behind it. Amen. Obey God's word. Amen. The first thing is that it's an expression of obedience unto the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 The second reason why we come before his table. No, it's an act of remembrance. No, we heard the word said, do this in remembrance of me. No, it's an act of remembrance. No, whenever we come before the table of the Lord, we should remember. Amen. We should remember. Hallelujah. Amen. The great work of salvation on the cross of Calvary. The great of re work of redemption for each one of us. Now, I don't know how many of you are forgetful. I mean, we had sometimes, many a time, we are forgetful. Amen. We are forgetful about the cross. We are forgetful. We are here once we were touched. But as we go along the walk of life, everything comes together and we forget you know, the great redemptive work on the cross. I mean, why do we come to the table of the Lord? You know, to remember the great sacrifice. To remember, you know, the word says, do not neglect such a great salvation. Hallelujah. Can you say great salvation? Great salvation. One more time with assurance. Great salvation. Great salvation. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. We should not remember. It's an act of remembrance unto the Lord. Hallelujah, the sacrificial death of Jesus. He took our curse. He took our sin. Amen. Let it not be a hearing like every time you hear, you know, Jesus died for me. Jesus took my sin. Curse. No, something the Lord has to do inside of us today. Amen. He took our sin. He took our curse. No, he took our wrath. He took our judgment. Hallelujah. We need to thank the Lord for what he has done. Such a great salvation. And the word says, do not neglect this. Hallelujah. When you come before the table of the Lord today, as you partake, you should remember the great sacrifice of God for you. Amen. The great sacrifice of the Lord for you. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, even if you forget pastor's phone number, you know, even if you forget your wife's name, your children's name, you know, how many of you know, many of uh, the, 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 the people who have grown old, once they are on the bed, you know, they forget even the children's name. Amen. They go through such a time that they forget the children's name. Even if you forget your children's name, this one thing we should not forget. Amen. This one thing we should not forget. You know, till the end of days. You know, you are on that bed where you are, you know, before you enter the glory of God. You know, just ask the Lord, let never allow me to forget what you have done on the cross for me. 
Amen. I'm the Lord meet with you today. Amen. Once again, the cross of Calvary before you. When may the Holy Spirit bring the image of that? You know, may the Holy Spirit make it alive before you. You make the Holy Spirit make it real before you. Amen. The suffering love of our Jesus Christ. I mean, one word that is always touched my heart is from Song of Songs. The Song of Songs 1.13 says, you know, the Shulamite woman says, you know, my beloved is like a bundle of myrrh between my breasts. Hallelujah. You know, what does that signify? Myrrh signify the suffering love of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You know, myrrh is given to somebody to reduce pain. You know, but when Jesus was broken on the cross for you and for me, you know, people offered myrrh for him. You know, to reduce the pain, but he didn't take it. You know, because why? Because he wanted to go to the full extent. You know, he wanted to take upon him the full extent of the wrath that was going to be poured out on you and me. Amen. Mer signifies the suffering love of our Savior. Amen. The Shulamite woman says, I have, you know, he's like a bundle of mer in the center of my heart. How many of you will keep the suffering love of the Savior in the center of your heart? Amen. You know, olden times when the Jewish women, they moved around, you know, everybody could feel the smell. They literally used to put that myrrh, hallelujah, and everybody used to feel this, get the fragrance of it, but never used to know from where it came. You know, we as a church, the bride of Christ, you know, should keep the suffering love of our Savior in between her heart, in the center of our heart. We should not forget. Amen. Why do we come to the table? To remember, you know, the great sacrifice, to remember the love of our Savior. Amen. Once again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not to forget it. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. To remember there is no other name given under heaven and earth for man to be saved. Only the name of Jesus. Amen. Only he died for us. Amen. Only he paid the price for our forgiveness and our redemption. Amen. Jesus Christ, hold him close to your heart. Amen. Never let the love grow cold. Amen. Remember the suffering love of the Savior for you today. Hallelujah. Amen. Let it be a refreshing unto you when you come to partake of the table of the Lord. Amen. The third thing is that it is an act of testimony unto his death. You know, the third reason that you come to celebrate the table of the Lord, it's an act of testimony of his death. Amen. You are testifying something. Amen. 11, 24 and 25. We'll quickly read. 1 Corinthians 11, 24 and 25. Thank you, Jesus. We worship you. And when he had given thanks, he broke it and said, Take, eat. This is my body which is broken for you. Amen. Do this in remembrance Take, of Take, eat. This is my body broken for you. Broken for you. See, we, everybody know that Jesus has been died for the whole world. Amen. Jesus has paid the price. He has been sacrificed, offered for all. Amen. But it's a testimony. That he has, we are testifying whenever we come to partake of the Lord, that he was broken for me. Amen. Amen. He died for me. Amen. You need to personalize that. Amen. There is redemption for me. There is healing for me. There is deliverance for me. You know, the, my curses has been taken. My sin has been taken. Amen. That should be personalized. You know, how many of you know there is a, you know, there is, there are medicine for tuberculosis. But you know, just by knowing about it, you won't get cured. Hallelujah. You know, there are medicines for all diseases. But just by knowing about it or just having the prescription in your pocket, you will never get cured. Amen. No, you should take it inside. That's right. You should take it inside. You should take it inside. Amen. This day when you come to partake of the table of the Lord, Amen. Make it one more time personal. You know, tell the Lord, refresh, refresh. Tell the Lord, Lord, I receive you. Amen. I honor you. Amen. I thank you once again for dying for me, for taking my sin. Amen. For taking my failures, for taking my disobediences. Amen. Amen. Everything. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. So that you and I be found. Amen. We'll never be eternally lost. You are and I are kept. Hallelujah. Amen. It's an act of testimony of his death personally for me. Personalize it today. Amen. I once again apply it on your life. Amen. And you will never be the same, I tell you. Amen. Hallelujah. God will do something in your life, a refreshing in your life. Amen. The fourth reason why we celebrate the table of the Lord, Matthew 26, 28. Quickly, Matthew 26, 28. Thank you, Jesus. For this is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for many for the remission of sins. Amen. The word says, you know, this is the blood of my covenant. It is shed for the remission of sins. Amen. You know, 
when we come to the, the third or fourth reason why we come to the table of the Lord is that we are proclaiming there is forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. Amen. There is forgiveness in the blood of Jesus. There is a comeback in the blood of Jesus. Amen. There is a consecration in the blood of Jesus. Amen. There is salvation only through his blood. Amen. My sins are forgiven. My sins are washed away. Now, however scarlet red it is, my sins are washed away. Amen. The blood of Jesus purges away every sin and makes my conscience clear to stand before God our Father. Amen. Amen. Give us a clear conscience. Amen. Give us a clear conscience. Amen. There is, pro there is deliverance in the blood of Jesus. There is power in the blood of Jesus. Amen. The word says we overcome the enemy by the blood of the Lamb and the word of our testimony. I mean, we do not have to be afraid of the witchcraft, you know, the spells that is told, told against us, the prayer that is made against us, the magic that is made against us, whatever our neighbors do, because the word says, no plague shall come near my tent. Amen. I, mean, I dwell in the shadow of the Most High. Amen. I under the wings of His refuge, under the blood of the Lamb. Amen. I'm hidden. I'm covered. I'm covered under the blood of Jesus. I do not have to be afraid of any witchcraft or magic or spells. Nothing can bind me today. I have victory in the blood of Jesus. I mean, the principalities that come against us have victory in the blood of Jesus. The things that stand arguing in your mind have victory in the blood of Jesus. I mean, the depression, I have victory in the blood of Jesus. I mean, the sinful addictions have victory in the blood of Jesus. Amen. Today, I need to apply it out of my life. Make it personal. Amen. That blood was shed for me. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm proclaiming. Whenever I come to the table today, you should proclaim. When you take that cup in your hand, that bread in your hand, you should proclaim, Lord, I thank you that the forgiveness, the power in the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 You know, the burden of sin will be lifted. You know, you will feel that your, your light in your heart. You will feel that there's joy coming and filling inside of you. You, know, you will feel a fresh love for the Lord. Amen. You are made just as you have never sinned. Hallelujah. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. Amen. There is power in the blood. You are proclaiming it when you come to partake of the table of the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Hallelujah. The fifth reason. 1 Corinthians 10, 16. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians 10, 16. The cup of blessing which we bless, is it not the communion of the blood of Christ? Amen. The cup that we bless. Amen. When you take that cup in your hand, I mean, it, it, it should make you think. You know, the Holy Spirit should, you know, allow your thoughts, your heart, mind, everything to focus on Christ who was sacrificed for you. Amen. You know, he should gather you along and the desire on put it on Christ who was sacrificed for you. I mean, the word says, it is a cup we bless. You know, in other words, it is an act of praise and worship. Amen. It is an act of praise and worship. The cup that we offer, the word says, it's a cup of thanksgiving. Hallelujah. You know, whenever you take that cup in the hand, you know, we should not stand with our mouth shut. Amen. You know, as if, you know, we don't know what has happened, what is this. I mean, as if this is a ritual, as if this is a ceremony. Amen. Something the Lord does. Amen. The word says, you know, when the bread was broken, the disciples' eyes were opened and they could recognize him. Amen. There is a spiritual opening. Hallelujah. Your eyes will be opened. Amen. To recognize the Lord, to touch the Lord, to experience the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. It's a cup of blessing. You should never you know, stand mouth shut. Amen. Hallelujah. Always when you take that, you should have a thanksgiving in your heart. You should have a praise upon your mouth. Lord, I thank you for dying for me. Lord, I thank you for you. My sins are taken away. Thank you, Lord. My curses are taken away. Thank you, Lord. Today I have liberty. Thank you, Lord. Today I have freedom. Thank you, Lord. Today I have the Holy Spirit inside of me through the blood of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Today I'm anointed because of the blood of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. You should have a blessing in your heart. Hallelujah. Amen. You should have a blessing in your heart, a thanksgiving. You know, if, you, if the time goes a little extra, amen, you should have a worship in your heart. You should have a praise in your heart. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Because it's a time of celebration. Amen. It's a time of celebration. Amen. God is celebrating you and you are celebrating His love. Hallelujah. 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 You know, it's the day of redemption. It's something that you remember, the day of redemption, the day your sins were washed away. Amen. It's the day that you were joined to the Lord. Amen. The, the day that you are reconciled to the Lord. Hallelujah. It's a time of celebration. Amen. You should have a praise. You should have, it's a cup of blessing. Amen. And it's an act of praise and worship. You know, the sixth reason, why do we celebrate the table? Why do we, the reason for keeping the table of the Lord? 1 Corinthians 10, 17. Thank for you. We Jesus. being many are one bread and one body. For we all partake of that one bread. 
Yeah, the word says we all partake of that one bread. I mean, whenever we come to the table of the Lord, it's an act of fellowship. It's an act of fellowship. We partake of the one bread. Hallelujah. The bread Jesus was broken. The bread of life was broken for us. Amen. It's an act of fellowship with the Lord. And the word says we partake of one bread though we are many. Amen. We are one body. Amen. It signifies fellowship with each other. Amen. Fellowship with the Lord and fellowship with each other. Hallelujah. Now the word says God is faithful. It is he who has called you into fellowship with the son Jesus Christ. Amen. Hallelujah. You can have as much as you want. You can have him as much as you want. The fellowship is open. The gate is open. Amen. Hallelujah. No, it's, it's, it's an act of fellowship between each other. Hallelujah. Anyway, any kind of jealousy, any kind of envy, any kind of you know, critical thoughts, any gossip, any slander, any, any disunity, any unforgiveness, any hurt feelings, any bitterness, any resentment, anger inside of you. Amen. Tell the Lord, Lord, as I come to partake of the blood, I let it go. I let it go. I let it go. I mean, it might be impossible for you, but, you know, it's nothing impossible for the Lord. I mean, when you decide, you know, the Holy Spirit will be poured out in your heart and the love, the love of God into your heart. Amen. The grace will enable you. The grace will follow, flow into your life. Amen. Out of forgiveness, decide to forgive. Amen. It's a cup of act of fellowship. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. As you partake of it, if you can offer the hurts, the resentment, the breaches in your relationship, in your family, in the church, anywhere. No, the Lord will just repair the breaches. The Lord will repair the breaches. Amen. The Lord will release His healing into the relationships. Amen. The relationships will be built up. Amen. Hallelujah. Because He was broken, that you may, you know, connect with your Father and connect with each other. Hallelujah. The horizontal and the vertical. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you are glad? Hallelujah. Amen. The seventh reason, the reason for keeping the table of the Lord. You know, the word says, until... You know, we proclaim till you come again. Till you come again. You know, it's an act of hope that you have, you know, looking forward for the second coming of the Lord. How many of you look forward to the second coming of the Lord? Amen. Amen. The Lord will surely come back. Amen. To Amen. take his bride away. Amen. It's a looking forward when you come to partake of the Lord. You know, have a heart of thanksgiving. You foresee that day. Amen. The Lord comes back to take you again. Hallelujah. You know, you know. People live on this earth maximum to 70, to 80, 120. Hallelujah. After that, there is a life after. When there's an eternity, there is a heaven and there is a hell. Amen. If you have received Jesus and made Jesus the Lord of your life, the forgiveness of sins through his blood, amen, you will be with him for eternity. Right. Amen. You will be with him for eternity. Amen. Anybody who puts faith in him will never be put to shame. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, this is an act of proclaiming it. You know, but if you look to some of our lives, you know, we live as if, you know, our whole life is going to be on this earth. Amen. Hallelujah, but there is an eternity. There is an eternity. Hallelujah. We are not, we, are not, we do not belong here. Amen. Let your eyes be set on heaven. Let your eyes be set on the Lord today. Amen. There, is, there are mansions built for us. Amen. You know, every time I partake of the table, I'm telling Lord, you are coming back again. I mean, anybody who has hope in the Lord that he will come back in, the word says he will make himself pure. I mean, he will allow the Lord to cleanse himself with his blood, with his water of the word. Amen. Whatever, you know, what, however we are, you know, you can come just as you are and the blood of the Jesus, if you confess, will cleanse you. Amen. The word will cleanse you and prepare you for his second coming. Amen. Hallelujah. So wherever we partake of the Lord, we are proclaiming of this hope. Amen. Tears are going to end. Sorrows are going to end. Hallelujah, this affliction is just for a moment. Amen. But eternal glory is awaiting for me. Amen. Have you heard a song in Malayalam? Kashtangal Saramilla. Amen. Dukkangal Kandunir Saramilla. Amen. Hallelujah. I'll be with the Lord. There are no tears there. There are no sorrows there. Hallelujah. Amen. Eternity with the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Today, as you partake of the Lord, set your eyes on the Lord. Amen. On His coming. Amen. Hallelujah. How many of you know, you know, somebody who has got a visa to go you know, abroad, you know, for some days he will be careful. I mean, he will not drive the car alone. You know, he will not make, get into any issues or fight or quarrel because, you know, any case can be filed against him. How many of you know that we have received a visa to go? Amen. To be with the Lord. Amen. Amen. The time of stay here, we should be careful. Amen. Amen. We should walk carefully. 
Amen. Walk in wisdom, redeeming the time. Amen. Hallelujah. Seven reasons when you come before the table of the Lord. One is an act of obedience. No, second is an act of remembrance. Amen. Third is an act of, you know, proclaiming the blood of Jesus. Amen. An act of fellowship, an act of a cup of blessing, an act of testimony of the Lord that he died for me, applying it personally in my life. Amen. Amen. Taking it into your life today, receiving it in your life today. Amen. What shall we do? Amen. One last scripture, Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 2. Hebrews 12 verses 1 to 2. Hallelujah. Therefore, what is our part? Therefore, we also, since we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses, let us lay aside every weight. Lay aside every weight. And the sin which so easily ensnares us. And the sin which so easily ensnares us. The sin that easily besets us is unbelief. Just put away unbelief. Amen. And then? And let us run with endurance the race that is set before us. Looking unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Amen. Our part is to look unto Jesus. Amen. Look unto Jesus. Look unto Jesus. Amen. Look unto the cross, the Lord who was lifted high for you. Amen. Meditate on the cross daily. Amen. The, the redemption, the forgiveness, the deliverance, the healing, the victory. Look unto Jesus. Look unto the Lord today. Amen. As we partake of the blood, by, blood uh, the table of the Lord, we'll stand up in the presence of the Lord. It is a cup of blessing. It is a cup of thanksgiving. You know, there are so many things to give thanks unto the Lord for. Hallelujah. Without the Lord, where would I have been? Where would I have been? Hallelujah. Oh, Rabba, Shikha, Rabba. Today, heaven is for me. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, just stand up in the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you. Worship you. Worship you, Lord. Hallelujah. How many of you thank have you a Lord. heart of thanksgiving before thank the Lord? Jesus. Amen. It's a cup of blessing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Tira Rabba, Shikha Rabba, Ruka Tire Reba. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Oh, Rabba, Baba, Baba, Shikha. Make it personal today. Make it personal today. It's a test. You are testifying that he died for me. Hallelujah. We love you, Lord. You know, today, once again, you have been, might be many years that you have been following the Lord, giving your life unto the Lord. But today, you know, the Lord will send a refreshing upon your life. Amen. You know, there are times of refreshing in the presence of the Lord. You, know, you will experience His refreshing upon every area of your life. You, if you can once again, personally, you know, make it personal to your life. Speak to the Lord. Speak to the rock. The water will flow. Speak to the rock. Speak to the rock smitten for us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Let there be giving in today. Hallelujah. Oh, we worship you. You may be grown in the Lord. You may be ministering. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. But just, no, give in to the Lord today. The Lord is very much here. Hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. He will send times of refreshing. Oh, thank you, Jesus. We worship you. Oh, Rabba, Shikha Rabba. Oh, you are in the cleft of the rock. You are hidden in the cleft of the rock. You are safe and secure in the cleft of the rock. Oh, the Jesus mitten for you is safe and secure. Eternity is secure. Oh, Rabba Shikha Rabba. You've got confidence. You've got assurance. Oh, to come before the throne of God boldly through the blood of Jesus. The new and living way open for you. Oh, yes, Abba. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, thank you. Can you just worship the Lord? Can you worship just, just worship the Lord? Praise Him. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Oh, Rabba Shikha Rabba Shikha. Bless you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Oh, we worship you, Lord. Do 
worship of our King as He cries, it is finished, heaven sing. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down in the presence of the Lord. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down in the presence of the Lord. Oh, hanging before you is the sacrifice of God, the land, pure and holy, creation stand in all, with whom in all and in all, the worship of our King, as He cried, it is finished, never Let the way down, let the face go up. Let the way down, let the face go up. Let the way down, with the presence of the Lord. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the face go up. Let the way down, with the presence of the Lord. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down. With the presence of the Lord, let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down, let the praise go up. Let the way down in the presence of the Lord. Father, we thank you for the word that you have spoken to our lives. We receive, Lord, the word that you have given us, Lord. We receive it by faith, man. We thank you, Jesus, for the privilege, the opportunity that you have given us as church to partake of the bread and the wine, Lord. And we thank you, Jesus, Lord, even as we do it, Lord, even this morning. As we remember you, Lord, we thank you, Lord, that you will remember us, Lord, and you will set us apart once again. Amen. For your name and for your glory, Lord. I know. Without you, we can do nothing, Lord. Amen. We continue to look to you, Lord. Yes. We continue to gaze upon your beauty, Lord. Amen. Continue to minister your word. Yes. Continue to speak to our lives. Yes, and continue, Lord, to do your work in our hearts Amen. and in our lives, Lord. That's right. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 All those who are joyful in Jesus, would you once again give a shout of praise to Jesus tonight? Oh, thank you, Lord. Father, so joyful. First book of John, chapter 1, or first book of John, verse 29, the 29th verse. First book of John, the 29th verse. Yes, please. If you know that he is righteous. The next day, John saw Jesus coming toward him and said, Here is the Lamb of God 
who takes away the sin of the world. Amen. We are going to partake of the bread and the wine. I want to speak to you about the Lamb of God. I want to title this word, Know Your Lamb. Jesus is the Lamb of God who take away the sin of the world. How many of you are happy? Jesus Christ is the Lamb of God. The sinless, the spotless Lamb who take away the sin of the world. Amen. And we want to know this Lamb this morning. Amen. We want to have a revelation of this Lamb. You are as effective and victorious in your life as much as you know the Lamb. Amen. Praise the Lord. As much as you have a revelation of the Lamb of God, it is not the head knowledge, it is not the book knowledge, as much as the Holy Spirit illuminates the Lamb of God over your life, as much victory will be manifested over your life. Amen. How many of you want to know the Lamb of God? Hallelujah. Glory to God. Sometimes it is said the book is not known by the cover, isn't it? Hallelujah. I mean, it's not enough, hallelujah, to read, hallelujah, to have a Bible like this, but you should read about the Lamb and understand about the Lamb. Sometimes, you know, most of the people, you know, Christians are known by the cover. It is not important, you know, Jesus is known by the cover. We need to know what is inside the Lamb. We should know what, who is the Lamb and what is he has done for us and what He means to us. Amen. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So four revelations about the Lamb of God. Amen. Four revelations about the Lamb of God. How many of you want to listen to that? Amen. 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 Jesus said, you know, in, uh, in the book of Hebrews, He said, Jesus Christ died on the cross. He gave us a new and a living way through the blood of Jesus Christ. There was a new and a living way that was opened through the blood of Jesus Christ. We are not in that old way. We are in the new way. Amen. Through the blood. You start, it's not enough to stand at the gate. It is important to enter into a new and a living way. A new way. A new living. And a living way. If you have Jesus in your life, if you know the Lamb, it's a living way. There is life in life. Praise God. There is life in life. How many of you are enjoying your life in your life? Praise God. How many of you are enjoying a new and a living way? Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. The life changes when you enter through a new way. And life becomes real life. Hallelujah. When you understand the Lamb of God. Amen. So it is important this morning not to listen to it. Hallelujah. But join to the Lamb. It is important to have an intimacy with the Lamb. It is important to touch the Lamb. It is important to, hallelujah, as you partake of the Lamb, there is something that new needs to happen in your life. How many of you believe this morning as you partake of the Lamb of God, there is something new that is going to happen in your life. Uh, all things have passed away. All things have become new. And the newness of God and the newness of life will flow inside and through your life in Jesus' name. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. So four revelations of the Lamb of God. The first revelation is He's a midnight lamb. Everybody say He's a midnight lamb. Hallelujah. You can go home and read in the 12th chapter of Exodus chapter 12. The Bible says at midnight, at midnight, the Bible says they went out of the land of bondage, the land of Egypt into the promised land. How could they go in the midnight? Because the Bible says at 11.59, they, hallelujah, did something special. They partook of the Lamb. Hallelujah. So many of people are in 1159 of your life this morning. You want an exodus over your life. You want a miracle over your life. How many of you know my Jesus is specialized? Hallelujah. Having his favorite times in midnight moments. Amen. How many of you remember, you know, great Jawaharlal Nehru said, at the stroke of midnight hour, when the world slept, India will awake to life and freedom. Amen. Praise the Lord. India became free in the midnight hours. Amen. When the world was asleep, hallelujah, praise God. But I'm speaking about a greater freedom, hallelujah, than what Jehovah Nehru, hallelujah, pronounced over India. A greater freedom from the land of bondage, hallelujah, into a promised land. 
Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. In the midnight time, how many of you are in the midnight moments of your life? Hallelujah. Where people are asking you, where is your breakthrough? Psalm 71. Hallelujah. The Bible is saying, the psalmist is saying, there are people who are asking, oh, you're becoming old. Uh, there are gray hairs. Where is your promise? Where is your deliverance? Where is the revival that God has promised over your life? Where is it? Where is it? The people are counseling together and making fun of them. And then the psalmist goes on to say, but his righteousness hallelujah is higher than what people can tell okay, against me his righteousness is higher than the lowness that i can go to his righteousness can lift me much higher than the lowness that i'm experiencing right now god is telling somebody this morning god's righteousness the righteous blood of the lamb can take you higher than any kind of lowness that you have ever experienced over your life let the blood of Jesus Christ, the Lamb of God, is able to lift you up. Is able to bring you out of your midnight moments. How many of you are here in your midnight moments? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. After 400 years of bondage in the darkest of hours they were. But the Bible says, hallelujah, by the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. They activated a favor over their lives. Ah, come on church tonight. This morning, by the blood of Jesus, you can activate a favor over your life. The set time of favor is this morning. You can activate the favor of God through the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sometimes you say, what's, hallelujah, what do you do when things are delayed? At 11.15 am, you are still bound. Like for 400 years. You still are slaves and poor. You still look live defeated. You still have questions at 11.59. Hallelujah. PM. But 12 a.m. Midnight. Hallelujah. There was a sound. Hallelujah. Of victory. There was a sound of blessing. There was a sound of favor. There was a marching sound in entire Egypt. The march of victory. Hallelujah. As an army, they went out of the place of bondage into the promised land. Hallelujah. This morning, I want to tell you, get ready for your march. Get ready for your march. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sometimes when you are in between moments of your life, in the midnight moments of your life, trust in the blood of Jesus Christ. Amen. There are people who you have prayed for and the devil wants to you know, put voices in your ears and said, this is not going to happen. There are devil trying to bring voices into your mind and says, whispers voices into your hearts and says, oh, this breakthrough won't come. This person won't be right. This person won't be saved. This person won't be healed. This person won't come to the light of Jesus Christ. There are whispers of the enemy that is released over your life. There are whispers that says that this is not possible. But if you would trust in the blood of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. You are activating the set time of God's favor over your life. How many of you want to say, Hallelujah, I'm not going to allow the whisper of the enemy to taunt me, to distract me, to destroy me, to defeat me. I'm going to allow the blood of Jesus. I'm going to apply it by faith. I'm going to activate the power of the blood over my life in the name of Jesus. Amen. The Bible says they had favor. They went out of favor. The set time of favor. Hallelujah. You heard Revelation 12, 11 says, they overcame by the blood of the Lamb and the word of their testimony. What did Moses do? The Bible says, by faith, Moses sprinkled the blood at the midnight hours by faith. Everybody says, by faith. Lord asked me the other day, he says, by faith, Chaco, apply the blood of Jesus over certain people, over the church, over the people. And he said, I will cause, hallelujah, that which is trying to distract them and destroy them to pass over them. Hallelujah. This morning, there is power in the blood of Jesus Christ. The losers became winners. Hallelujah. In one second, praise God. The losers became winners in one second. Come on, church. Let the losing mindset, hallelujah, images and pictures over your mind be broken this morning by the power of His name. Hallelujah. There are negative pictures the devil is showing you. I saw people having negative pictures in their hearts, in their minds, about their lives, about their marriages, about their children, about their future, about the church, sometimes about godly relationships. But this morning in the blood name of Jesus, every negative picture be broken from your life and from your heart and there'll be a fresh oil of God. Hallelujah. Flow in the inside. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Bible says Moses sprinkled the blood by faith. Amen. Glory to God. 
How many of you want to sprinkle the blood by faith this morning? Hallelujah. 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 To the lintel, to the doorpost, show it publicly. What the power in the blood. Don't be scared to show that the blood is on the doorpost. Come on, church. Let me tell you, if you are not scared of the devil, you don't need to be scared about anyone. Praise God. The power in the blood, activating the blood of Jesus will give you authority over the devil. If you know that you have authority over the devil, you don't need to have authority. You don't need to be scared over anyone else. Hallelujah. It is when we lose, hallelujah, our mindset, our authority over the enemy that we give into the lies. It is when we lose uh, 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 speaking and believing in the authority of God. Hallelujah. That we stand fighting against each other. If you know that you have authority over the devil, you won't fight against each other. You won't speak against each other. You won't, hallelujah, uh, have a mindset. You will, uh, in the midnight hours, will activate the blood and will get out of the land of Egypt. Hallelujah. Number two, the Bible says at the midnight, Ruth came and how many of you understanding something here this morning? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. At the midnight hour, Ruth is the lamb, is the redeemer. Boaz, the heavenly Boaz, Jesus, the heavenly Boaz. You go and read the book of Ruth, a Moabit, a cursed woman coming into a, a blessed nation who is surrounded by the favor of God, coming into a blessed nation. And the Bible says she sat at the feet of Boaz, the heavenly Boaz, the heavenly redeemer, the kinsman redeemer. And the Bible says at midnight, she uncovered his feet. She, hallelujah. How many of you are here? Let me tell you in worship, when you uncover the feet of the heavenly Boaz, there is favor that will come over your life. The Bible says she uncovered this morning, there is the uncovered feet, the cross, the feet that was nail pierced, cross of Jesus Christ, the feet that was nail pierced. If you uncover it this morning, hallelujah, through your worship, there is a favor. You don't have to eat the leftovers anymore. You don't have to need anybody's contacts. You will have a supernatural deliverance from the presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. They don't need to eat any leftovers. She did not eat any leftovers. The Bible says, hallelujah, in the book of Ruth, that the Boaz came and covered her and said, I will give you an extra supply. How many of you want an extra supply? Oh, come on, church. Oh, uncover the nail pierced legs of our Redeemer, the Lamb of God that has been slain on behalf of you. He's alive and he's willing to supply an extra, hallelujah, supply. And the Bible says, Till 1159, she was a maid. She was a worker. She was working in the vineyard like a slave. But after 12, she became the owner of the vineyard. Come on, church, this morning. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the midnight hour, hallelujah, you will think that you are a slave, that there is nothing that you own. But in the hallelujah, past the midnight, as you worship the living God, as you partake of the Lamb of God, the midnight will change. The, the slave will become the owner. God is telling somebody you are going to own certain things in your life hallelujah glory to god your status are going to change people call going to call you differently people are going to see you differently the slavish mindset the little mindset the lack mindset is going to be broken over your life oh rabba sambhala rashikara amen blessed be the name of the lord you are begging at 1159 12 o'clock, you became the owner. Amen. Come on, church, this morning. Is this story or is this the Bible? Blessed be the name of the Lord. Matthew chapter 25, speaking about a midnight cry. And the Bible says, at 12 o'clock, the door was opened. The midnight lamb. Hallelujah. Jesus Christ, the lamb of God. Now he's going to become the lion of Judah. He's going to become the king of kings and the lord of lords. He's at hand. Bible scholar says the door is speaking about the rapture where Jesus will come back a second time in the clouds to take his church back home. 
Hallelujah. And the Bible says there was a man who is running out with the midnight cry. Revival is coming. Revival is coming. Jesus is coming. Church, get right before God. Church, prepare yourself. There was a midnight cry on the streets. I am telling you, hallelujah, we are in that season. Hallelujah. I am not crying aloud with emotion. I am crying a revival cry. The midnight cry. The midnight hour is here this morning. The Lord is coming back a second time to all those who are waiting for him. Midnight is the time, hallelujah, there is a revolution, there is a revival, hallelujah, that is going to come over the church where people will have an urgency, hallelujah, to get their life prepared for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. An end time revival move will start. Oh, come on church. You will see before any great event in the Bible, the lamb was slain. Oh, we give you praise. Before any great event, hallelujah, there was the preaching of the Lamb. I am telling you this morning, God has asked me to preach this word because there are great events that are going to come over your life. There is the greatest exodus that is going to come over the city again. How many of you believe that Lord spoke to me and said, another exodus is going to come over the land of Bangalore, over the city, hallelujah. People are going to come out from the life of bondage into the promised land. Oh, come on church this morning. There is an urgency. Praise God. There is not a hallelujah urgency to make another flat, to have another business, to a hallelujah. There is not an urgency to make money. The urgency is to prepare for the coming of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. That was the cry for. He didn't start say, oh, your flat is not finished. Oh, build that. Your estate is not doing well. Oh, finish that. He did not say that. He said, your heart is prepared. If your heart is not prepared, hallelujah, prepare your heart for the Lord is going to come. There's an urgency at the midnight hour. Speak about urgency. Hallelujah. The church needs to get right with God. Church needs to respond to God. It's a midnight cry. It's a midnight time. Imagine the Paul and Silas who worship the Lamb of God. Paul and Silas who worship the Lamb of God. They heard a word from God to go. To a man called Macedonia. They heard a word from God. They had a vision from God. It says, go and minister the word. And the Bible says, everything fell apart from their lives. How many of you have heard a word from God? Had a vision from God? You thought you were doing the right thing. But you have a lot of problems. Hallelujah. Some of people are like that. God is going to set you free this morning. Amen. And the Bible says they ended up in jail. Hallelujah. Because he cast out a woman with a divination. He cast out some spells. Let me tell you, don't worry about anybody who is under a spell. Don't think that you or somebody has put a magic or a spell over you. There is nothing that can stand. Hallelujah. Oh, spell can stand when the anointing of God show up. Let me tell you, every hallelujah spell and witchcraft and whatever magic that people have put over you is being broken over your life in the blood name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I command to leave your life in the name of the Lord. But the Bible says at the midnight hours they worship the Lamb. And the Bible says they heard a big sound. Foundations of how that prison was shaken. Ah, come on, church, this morning. When God does something big, He does something big. When God does something in your life, He makes a sound. Ah, come on, church. He makes a sound about it. He makes a sound about it. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. He's the midnight lamp. Amen. I heard a story of a Christian evangelist in Vietnam. An interpreter for American missionaries. When the communists came and took over Vietnam, all the Americans left, but this man was arrested for his faith. And he was psychologically tortured. He was put in charge of cleaning the toilets. He was put in a dungeon where he could not see anybody. It was darkness all around. Every time he had to, you know, you know what in the toilet you need to do. He had to carry all the waste of the people every day. And that's what he used to do. And unlike other days when he was taking the waste, he saw a paper. Usually toilet papers are blank papers, you see. But one of those papers where something was written on that papers. So something different. So he took it in his hand to see what is written. He cleaned it up. And he read, it was Romans chapter 8. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In your darkest hour, when things look like waste and SHIT in your life, one word from heaven is enough. Come on, one Roman said that says, If God is for you, who or what can be against you? For there is therefore no more condemnation to those who are one, hallelujah, voice, hallelujah, encouraged him. It stirred up in a fire inside of him. And the goes on to say the story within days, within weeks, he was set free from that prison. Hallelujah. Why don't you hold on to the lamb? You can get out of your shit. You can get out of your stuff. You can get out of whatever you are going through. If you hold on to one scripture this morning, do you have a scripture? Do you have a Bible word to hold on to this morning in the name of Jesus? He's the midnight lamp. Amen. He sets you from your 11th. Look at somebody and say, wait a minute. Your 1159, there is a 12 o'clock victory for you. Amen. Oh, don't lose it now. Don't lose it the last moment. Amen. There is a 12 o'clock victory. Hallelujah. Praise God. If you would hold on to God's word this morning. Amen. Number two, he is the generous lamb. Everybody say generous lamb. Generous lamb. In the Genesis chapter 22, the Bible says, when Abraham was taken, his Isaac, his son, to sac offer sacrifice according to God's word on the altar to kill him as a sacrifice unto God, there is a question that Isaac is asking his father, Father, where is the lamb? And the father says, by faith, God himself will provide us a lamb. Amen. He is the generous lamb. Amen. God provided the lamb. Hallelujah. If you have the lamb, all the other provisions will flow into your life. God himself will provide the lamb. Hallelujah. God provided the lamb. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. God will be a generous lamb that wants to reveal himself. He's everybody says he's a generous lamb. Amen. Your promises are resurrected because of this lamb. Abraham thought his promised son. Every promise that needs to come is dead. But the Bible says he believed God could resurrect again because he believed in a lamb that God could provide. Hallelujah. Come on church this morning. This lamb is a generous lamb that will resurrect your dead dreams. Ah, come on now. Your dead dreams. Some of you are having dead dreams. God is about to resurrect it by the power of His name, by the power of the Holy Spirit of God. If you are willing to receive it, receive it now. Hallelujah. There are dreams that God is resurrecting by the power of His name, by the power of the Holy Ghost. We give you praise. We give you glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Glory to God. Some of you say, Oh, I have left out my family, my old beliefs, my traditions, my belief systems. I've stepped out of my culture and culture. Bible says Abraham left his family, his kindred, his, his, his culture. How many of you have left that kind of background for the glory of Jesus Christ? And you asked a question, where is my lamb? And God is telling you, don't have not forgotten you. I've not forsaken you. Your lamb, your provision, your dream will come to pass. God himself will provide the lamb. He's a generous lamb. Hallelujah. He's a generous lamb. How many of you had in moments of your life where you didn't have a prayer partner with you? But let me tell you who is your prayer partner. Your prayer partner is the Lamb of God. When you feel so lonely, when you feel so lonely in your life that there is nobody to pray for you, there is nobody to pray with you, He is the prayer partner, the Lamb of God that is slain 2,000 years ago. He is your prayer partner. He lives to intercede for you. Let me tell you one more thing. The more you get to your promise, the lonelier it will become. Ah, oh, come on church. The more you get close to the promises of God, the lonelier it will become sometimes. Hallelujah. It is not loneliness. It is godliness. Praise God. Sometimes when you become lonely, don't think you are lonely for the wrong reasons. You are lonely for the right reasons. Hallelujah. Because God is about to do something in your life and He wants you alone. Oh, come on now. Come on now. Come on now. Come on now. There might be resistance in your life, but He is your prayer partner. Amen. The Lamb of God. 
hallelujah abraham would have said i know that the lord will provide how many of you know because of the lamb of god because of the lamb i know he will provide amen number 3 he is the he is the matchless lamb everybody say matchless lamb one scripture this morning hallelujah revelation chapter 22 revelation chapter 22 couple more scriptures before we partake of the bread and the wine and verses 1 to 3 and he showed me a pure river of water of life clear as crystal proceeding from the throne of god and of the lamb In the middle of its streets and on either side of the river was the tree of life which bore 12 fruits each tree yielding its fruit every month and the leaves of the tree were for the healing of the nations amen there is a river everybody say river that flowed from the throne of god and from the lamb of god there is a pure river my brother crystal clear river you don't have to doubt when the river of god flows when you lift up the lamb of god this is a picture of how heaven is going to be there is going to be a lamb that is going to be matchless amen when you keep jesus christ superior matchless in your life there is a river that will flow and the bible says when the river flowed hallelujah there was fruitfulness every month usually fruitfulness come once a year or twice a year this is fruitfulness every month what is the lord trying to tell you god's blessings are going to come sooner than you expected ah come on church is going to come sooner than you expected come on come on come on some of you been hallelujah oh have kept two years three years for your breakthrough but the lord is telling there is an anointing that will flow from the lamp of god which man bring your promises sooner than expected hallelujah the church was praying when peter was in prison the church was keeping keep on kept on praying through the night and the bible says god sent an angel and set him free from the prison and peter came to the church and knocked the door and the bible says a woman called roda came and opened the door and told the disciples that peter has been set free and the bible says the church did not believe because he was set free sooner than expected ah come on church come on church there are people you've been praying god has already set them free hallelujah ni pokarevarku vendi prarthichu kartav avare vidu vichu hallelujah it's sooner than expected some of your marriages you thought oh 2013 14 15 16 also i will have to wait till december but let me tell you wait for your february wait for your february god will do a matchless work in your life sooner than expected glory to god some of you were believing for the job believing for that visa it will come sooner than expected by the glory of jesus christ amen how many of you are believing for a great ministry over your life it's coming it's coming it's coming in your hostel in your college in your college room hallelujah in the city sooner than expected petra church will see a revival coming into this church by the glory of the living god Hallelujah. We give you praise. Are you with me church? And I'm finished with this. Number 4, he's the excellent lamp. Everybody say excellent lamp. That's the scripture we took. Behold the lamp of God who took away the sin of the world. Hallelujah. He's the excellent lamp. You know why? Because he changes lives. from bondage to excellence on the first day he looked at peter he looked at simon and said simon i've changed your name you will be peter you will be a stone you will be a small rock pietro pietro only god could do that or god could call look at a mess and say hey miracle come on church or god could look at the red shirt and says it is white and it is white come on church he said pietro first day second day he looked at nathaniel and say hey nathaniel before you were in that victory i knew you 
So how do you know me? Hey, I know you, yeah. Before you were taking the tequila in that pub, I knew you. Before you were sleeping around, I knew you. Ah, come on. I knew you. When excellent Jesus come, He does not overpower you. He will not destroy you. He will empower you. Come on church. He is again here to empower lives. He empowered us. Simon into a Peter. He empowered a Nathaniel into one of his disciples. He empowers people. That's what an excellent. He is not destroying. He is not about destroying people. He is empowering God's people. Hallelujah. Amen. There is someone question, he said. Is there anything good that will come from Nazareth? Is there anything, something good that will come from Nazareth? How many of you are here like that? Hallelujah. Have you asked like that? Ah, blessed be the name of the Lord. Excellent lamb. Tell him he's the excellent lamb. Amen. Amen. He empowered people. He took away Nathaniel's doubt. He did not rebuke him. He said, come and see. That is church's job. Come and see. Not to destroy. Carry the same spirit of excellence and tell people, come and see. That spirit of excellence, come and see. I'll show you. Praise God. Amen. Church's job is to empower people. Amen. Hallelujah. Two things you should be willing to do to know the Lamb. Number one, John chapter 1 verses 35 to 39. Two things. Two things. Again, the next day, John stood with two of his disciples. And looking at Jesus, as he walked, he said, Behold, the Lamb of God. The two disciples heard him speak and they followed Jesus. Then Jesus turned and seeing them following, said to them, What do you seek? They said to him, Rabbi, which is to say, when translated, Teacher, where are you staying? He said to them, Come and see. Amen. Two disciples of John were following Jesus and they left John. They left Everything of the past to follow Jesus. When you want to see the Lamb of God, here is John saying, Behold the Lamb of God. And the first thing the disciples did was to leave their past. Whether it was good or bad, they leave their past and followed after the Lamb. You want to follow the Lamb? There is always a leaving of the past. You want to know the Lamb? Greater way, there is always a leaving. The Bible says the two disciples, John was limited. He could only show. Some of the Lord is saying, you, are, you have to leave that past experiences because you are limited there. Yeah. I know 15 years back you came and you joined the church and all that, but you are still in a limited place. Leave that. I've got something fresh for you. Come on church tonight. You have to leave. If you stay there too much time, you become frustrated, bitter, not knowing what to do. But when you are going to leave that, you will know what to do. You will know the Lamb, you will know what to do. Number two, they went and the Bible says they stayed with the Lamb. How many of you will stay and say, I will abide with you forever? When you come to the Lamb, it is to abide with Him. Everybody say, abide. Abide. You need to abide with the Lamb. Bible says in 1 John chapter 1 and 7, you are called to walk in the light as He is in the light. To abide. If you abide with Jesus, there is no point of darkness in your life. You are always in the light. Your mind will not become dark and stupid. <laughs> Come on, sir. Sometimes mind becomes stupid. You know why? Because Jesus moved on, you are still there. If you walk in the light as He is in the light, you have fellowship with God. You are abiding with Him. You are walking in His light. And you have, the Bible says, 
what is it fellowship with each other everybody say fellowship not gossip fellowship only fellowship is a ship <laughs> hallelujah fellowship with one another and the bible says and the blood of jesus cleanses you when you are walking in the light you will always have the conscious of his forgiveness you know i can't do it with my strength you know i have to abide with him to take the next step you're conscious even once in a way you fall down you come under the blood and say lord i'm sorry and you come under the blood there is the blood of jesus cleansing you come on church god wants not to come to church he wants 2016 that you want you to abide with him every day of your life He wants an abiding presence. Amen. And number 3, are you willing to believe that he is good? Would you surrender that question once and for all and say that your God is a good God? Is there anything good that will come from Nazareth? When the lamb was preached, is there something good? The Lord asked me to tell you this morning, once and for all get that question done with come on church he is a good god he is a good god he is a good god and the bible says second day jesus changed nathanael and he believed he was a good god and on the third day he turned the water into wine praise the lord come on church the next day after you believe that god is a good god will be a miracle ah ah come on church come on church the next day after you believe settle once and for all and say the god the jesus that i believe is a good god the next day will be a miracle the next day the very next day hallelujah three things that you be willing leave the past leave the limitations bible calls our salvation a limitless plentiful salvation number 2 to know the lamb and to be empowered by the lamb you need to abide with him and number 3 once and for all settle that he is a good god amen there is nothing bad that will happen in your life amen once again he is a midnight lamp he is a generous lamp amen he is a matchless lamb and he's an excellent lamb there is a lamb that was slain the foundations of the world to take away the sin of the world if you activate the blood over your life you're activating the set time of favor over your life if you say that he's a good god next day is the day of your miracle oh my jesus let's close our eyes in prayer as we partake of the bread and the wine all those who believe he is a good god and all those who say i want to believe and i want to give my life to this god i want to offer my heart and surrender this heart to this good god i want to activate the blood of the lamb over my life over my family let me tell you you don't want to miss this day to celebrate it amen as you do this as you heard by faith you are activating the god's favor over your life you are activating the goodness of god over your life you are pleasing god by celebrating it it's a pleasing thing to do we give you praise we give you glory lord we give you honor tonight it's a very clear word from the lord it's a very clear from the lord as the ushers come here to distribute the bread and the wine i want you to offer your heart to him i don't want you to feel condemned the bible says if you walk in the light as he is in the light there is fellowship with one another and the blood of jesus cleanses you it's a present tense he cleanses you even now you don't need to stay with your sin and your condemnation you can allow the cleansing of god's blood to cleanse you from every area and you will lose that consciousness and condemnation and guilt once and for all from your life Amen. against religion 
against everything. Jesus Christ does not come to build a religion. He came to build a relationship with you. I don't care who you are. You can offer your life afresh to Jesus. Oh, we give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. take it together don't do it now let's do it together after the prayer before you partake of it together I want you to say what a prayer with me anybody who given their heart and their life and surrendered to Jesus and made him the only Lord and Savior of his of your life and want to live your life according to God's word up acceptable before God to partake of this so this morning don't feel unaccepted if you've given your heart and life or if you want to give it to Jesus you can partake of the bread you can partake of the wine I want you to say this word of prayer with me Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. I accept you as the only Lord and Savior of my life. I thank you for dying for me 
on the cross of Calvary, shedding every drop of your blood, cleansing me from all impurities, from all sin, from all licentiousness, from all garbage. I thank you, Lord. You died and you forgave me and you forgave me and you cleansed me and you cleansed me and you made me and you made me whiter than snow whiter than snow i thank you for your precious blood i thank you for your precious blood i thank you for the lamb of god i thank you for the lamb of god that covers me lord that covers me a lord that take away that take away the power of sin the power of sin the power of wrong doing out of my life out of my life i ask you this morning to be my lord to be my lord to be my savior to be my to be my master i renounce sin sin i renounce the world the world i renounce the flesh i renounce the flesh and i trust you i trust you and your blood your blood alone alone lord jesus lord jesus i ask you i ask you to reveal yourself to reveal us as the lamb of god as the lamb of god that covers me that covers me that favors me that that puts me high puts me high that desires desires that my life that my will be kept will be kept only for jesus only for jesus and his name and his name i give my life i give my life totally totally to your control to your control i ask you i ask you to anoint me to anoint me with your favor with your favor with your grace with your grace i ask you lord i ask you lord to anoint me to anoint me with all your goodness to all your goodness i over my life over my life i confess i confess that you are a good god that you are a good god i confess i confess that you that you will never leave me will never leave me no forsake me no forsake me all the days of my life all the days of my life i ask you lord i ask you to lord, release me to release me into your light into your light into your glory into your glory into your plan into your plan, into your plan. father in jesus name father, in jesus name i pray, I pray. Amen. amen and would you just praise the lord for a few minutes this morning would you just thank, thank the lord. lord thank the lord and praise the lord god of us thank you for your word thank you for your word Thank you for your faith. Thank you Jesus for your deliverance. Ora va shadara va rash. Ora va rash shadara. Setting us free. Lord says Lord we thank you. Jesus. 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 Jesus Lord. Let's hold the bread together this morning. Father in the name of Jesus Lord. As we hold the bread in our hands we ask you today to be a midnight lamb lord amen that will send forth our breakthrough and a favor over our life lord amen. in the name of jesus lord lord help us to get out of our midnight this morning in the blood name of jesus lord amen help us to get off our slavishness our fear our bondage lord and help us to activate your favor over our life lord by the power of your name amen. by the power of thy blood amen. and as we hold this bread together lord We thank you having died for us and having broken this body for us and we thank you this is the lamb hallelujah this is the remembrance of the lamb's body that was broken lord and i pray lord jesus every area in our lives that needs your favor will be released today in the blood name of jesus lord epichu nu prarthikunu arthave rubara dara spandara durudhala manasya udara balasya dara bala durudha manasya ubariya dara durudha mana janadana mana sandala rudala manasya we give you praise we hold it together lord your word declares do this in remembrance lord as we hold it today together lord we stand united lord and we believe hallelujah jesus that our midnight hours will leave that hallelujah father we will hallelujah break our slavishness and we will become owners lord we will have an urgency lord for to prepare ourselves for the coming of our lord jesus christ as we partake of it give us strength to do it give us strength to do it give us strength to do it let every weakness leave our lives and there be supernatural strength that will come over our lives to hallelujah to prepare our hearts and minds for the coming of our lord and savior father in jesus name we pray lord amen 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 let's partake of it together
as you hold the cup in your hands. This is the cup of forgiveness. Receive your forgiveness. Receive your cleansing. Don't doubt it. One drop of His blood is enough to wash you and cleanse you. As you hold this, know that this is the cup of remembrance. That we remember that the blood of Jesus has spoken over your life. That every death and bondages will leave your life once and for all. Sin's dominion and power will be broken. Your life, your slate will be fresh as white as snow. Your lethargy, your religious power over your life will be broken. Your backsliding will be broken. The grace and the favor of God will be activated over your life. This is the cup. Put your faith, just as Moses put his faith in this cup and applied over the house, applied over the door of his household applied all the names that you possibly remember. This lamb is not just for you. This is the lamb for your household, your neighbors, your friends. As you hold this cup, Father, we pray in the name of Jesus that we shall abide with this lamb. We shall get closer to this lamb. That this experience of the Lamb will keep us, Lord, in your plan, in your purpose all the days, Lord. That we will not lose the sight of this Lamb all the days of our lives. So that we will not lose, Lord, this closeness to the Lamb from our life again, O Lord. We will feel close and intimate to this Lamb all the days of our lives, Lord. We ask you to anoint with the river that flows from the Lamb, Lord. That we will always have a matchless Lamb, hallelujah, right in front of our lives, Lord. And we will have the river of fruitfulness and river of breakthroughs in our lives flowing, Lord, every month of this year in the name of Jesus. And we'll receive, Lord, every blessing sooner than expected because of the Lamb and His river. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. Let's partake of it together. Just thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord. I feel a lot of freedom and lightness coming into your heart this morning. Hallelujah. Just thank the Lord. Just open your mouth. Not the guitar to thank the Lord. Not the music. Just open your mouth and just thank the Lord from your heart. Just thank Him. Thank you, thank you. Just open your heart. Thank you, Jesus. Just open your heart. If you get the cup aside, just open your hands and just thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord. Just thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord, for the healings, Lord. Thank you for the deliverance, Lord. Thank you for the clarity, Lord. Thank you for sending your word, my God. Just thank Jesus. Thank you for releasing the provisions, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for delivering your people. Just tell him, Lord, you're a good God, Lord. Tell him you're a good God. You're a good God. You're a good God. Tell him you're a good God. Just open your mouth and say, You're a good God. You're a good God. Whatever I've gone through in my life, you're a good God, Lord. You're a good God. You're a good God. Oh, Rababa Shabara, the root of Avarasia. My Bible says there is therefore no more condemnation to those who are in Christ. You don't need to be condemned. You are a child of God. You are under the favor of God. Hallelujah. He serve a good God. We serve a good God. Amen. If you believe it, put your hands together. Give a clap offering and say, we serve a good God. Serve a good God. Indeed. Hallelujah. Father, you are a good God. We serve a good God. The Lamb, He is pure, He is holy, He is good. Hallelujah. God is good. All the time before you go from this house, I want you to put your hands together and declare one, one voice. God is good all the time. Hallelujah. We worship you, Jesus. Blessed be the name of the Lord. All the time you put a song of praise in the heart of God. God is good all the time. To the darkest night, the sun will shine. God is good. God is good, God is good, all the 
of me. I receive it now. Thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory, Lord. I don't want to thank you, Jesus. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Jesus. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. We bless your holy name. There are people here who are feeling very tired in the inside, especially when you go to pray. You cannot spend much time in the presence of the Lord. There is a demonic tiredness. God has set you free as you partook of that bread and the wine, that inside lethargy and tiredness. Hallelujah. God is giving you fresh hunger this morning. In the blood name of Jesus this morning. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for the power of your blessing. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. There are people here that who have not been able to get married and you have become older and older and not got married. And you said, how will I get married? I had a divorce and whatever it is, the Lord is saying, there is a miracle that is going to come your way sooner than you expected. Hallelujah. We give you praise. Amen. I thank you, Jesus, today. I thank you, Jesus, for anointing them with your pure lamp, pure word this morning. God is good all the time. God is good. He's so good. Father, we thank you this morning for the word that you've released over our lives. Be our generous lamb. Hallelujah. Be the lamb of God. Be our, our prayer partner. Hallelujah. Be our one Lord who said, Lord, you will never leave us nor forsake us. You will empower us, Lord. Hallelujah. This morning I pray that you shall empower, Lord, each and every one of your children, Lord, with your grace, with your anointing, with your character, with your power, with your miracle, Lord. Empower them to be strong for you, Lord. Hallelujah, in the name of Jesus, Lord. I commit them into your hands right now. I speak for the word of blessing and rest over their lives, Lord. May God's presence and go, bless power, go with them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, Lord. Into your hands, I commit them right now. I bless them, Father, in the name of the Father. I bless them in the name of our Lord Jesus. I bless them in the name of the Holy Spirit. If you receive it, if you believe it, say Amen. Say Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Look at two, three people and say, you are empowered by the blood of the Lamb. Amen. Look at two, three people. Hallelujah. Say it. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. God bless you. I'll see you. Can you be seated for a few minutes? There is a retreat coming from uh, March 26 to uh, 21st to 26th. Monday to Friday by Pastor Joe Santanam in Kotim. Uh, it'll be nice if you want to go home and attend a full retreat and it'll be good to go and attend it. The uh, rest of the arrangements, if you would ask uh, the ushers here, uh, they would make the arrangements. So if you could go and attend, please do attend. Otherwise, uh, just remain back for a few more announcements before you leave home. God bless you. How many of you are blessed by the word? How many of you feel God has touched you and God has blessed you? Would you give a clap offering to Jesus this morning? Hallelujah. Would you give you glory? And... Hallelujah. We praise you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. We give you. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Anybody here uh, for the first time? Uh, we church welcome you in the name of Jesus. Can you please uh, lift your hands? Those who are sitting near to them, uh, dear brothers and sisters, please welcome them on behalf of church. Thank you. Who will uh, fast and pray for the church this week on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, 
Sunday. Who will uh, fast and keep our dear pastor and family uh, in your prayer on Monday? Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday. Sunday. Thank you. Have a blessed week.